But first, let me vape. What's going on, everybody? It's time for an install, another one. So I've already done a couple things already. As you've seen on Instagram, I got a new exhaust system in here. <clears throat> and uh, I've done a couple of things already. I just put on, you know, little spool kit and some frame sliders. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can do this without lifting up the bike because it's kind of heavy and I don't want to really risk dropping it when I'm by myself. So first thing let's do is uh, before we do anything, let's get a little sound note of this stock exhaust. First off, the bike now has a uh, 243 miles on it. Just that small little note so you guys can hear what it sounds like before and uh, hear what it sounds like afterwards. And when I do it afterwards, I will let it warm up and everything. I just don't want it to get hot before I get my hands all onto it. Okay guys, so I'm not gonna be running the uh, DB killer in this. So I'm pretty much learning how to you know, take that off myself. I tried looking it up, but it's not really working that well because everybody has the titanium system. I didn't go with the titanium system because I didn't care. Anyways, uh, this is gonna be a learning experience for everybody here. So, yay. So the first thing that I saw on here, that I noticed on here was this like little rubber plug that goes right in here that covers a, a bolt. It looks like about four millimeters. So we're gonna try that, try to take that out. To take this out, I just used a pair of like needle notes or Short nose, needle nose, pliers, whatever you can to get underneath it. Okay guys, so this DB killer is like the biggest pain in the ass to get out, but I found a nifty little trick. So like I said, the little uh, four millimeter bolt is behind this little cover right here. And then it's just held in by friction. So you can either try and muster it out by using pliers or whatnot. But what I did was I went and got a wooden dowel from Lowe's. There's something small that can stick in there and that, that you know slides right in there. Goes onto the back of like that little lip that's in there. And put it on my little uh, my little uh, what's it called? Styrofoam thing so it's not being dented into the ground. And then just give it a hit. Time for disassembly. So I just got this loose right here, so just gonna go ahead and can you take out this O2 sensor? Back 
That works. And now I present to you the stock heavy. Holy shit, this is heavy as fuck. That's the exhaust. Dude, not heavy as fuck, but it's heavy. Okay, guys. So I was having a big fucking time trying to get this shit done. Uh, sorry about the music again. Uh, but what you have to do is you have to, they supply this bracket so that way you can hold the hanger onto it. And, uh, I'll just turn it down a little bit. And so they supply this hanger, and this hanger goes onto this bracket that you have to do that goes on there. So this is the piece that's actually on where your rear set is, and you have to take it off. And it's got like its own spacers built into them. Loctite is a fucking bitch, I can tell you that, because I fucking hate it right now. Um, I had a, I spent like fifty dollars in tools just to be able to get this part off, just to get this, these two bolts out. It's like the only rounded bolt that Yamaha puts on this bike is right here, so it made it really fucking difficult to get it off. Real quick note, I got these in. They are hand tight right now. I will once everything's all done and set up, I'll go back through and tighten everything up. But uh, one thing to note is you have gaskets that are inside each cylinder. Uh, uh, what's it? Exhaust port. So, uh, just make sure that you keep that gas that that gasket's in there. One of mine fell out, so after I put it on, I looked down, I saw the gasket, I was like, "Fuck!" All right. So next, after installing that hand tight, uh, we will put in the O2 sensor. I got the springs put on on both sides. I got this tightened down so that it's not going to move. Um, so now, so now it's just going a matter of going back through and tightening everything back up, and then cleaning it off. There we go, we have her. So what I'm gonna do, I just got, I just put everything away from all my parts and everything, all the tools. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take some brake cleaner and some shop rags. Just give them a nice little wipe down. Get rid of all the oils from my hands that I got on them. As you can see, I already posted on Instagram. Oh, look, I got a like. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go with Instagram and this together, start up together. So, let me find my key. There we are. So, first start up with the new Acropovic system. Here we go. There you have it guys. I'll have a ride in here pretty soon. Uh, probably get a nice shot of it, see if it actually does split flame or not. Thanks for watching the install guys. I hope if you ever have an FCU9 and you go ahead and uh, purchase this exhaust system, hopefully I helped you out some. So until next time guys, peace out.